Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater. And uh, this boater says, Jeff, thanks for your recent video about fusing solar panels. You're welcome. But I have to ask, what is wrong with a voltage spike? Where is the voltage spike measured? How large can it be? Why does it happen? Oh, <laughs> follow-up questions are always the best questions because then you bring the geek out of me. Okay. So, let's go back to our childhood. Mine well, was my childhood. Mom asking me to do things around the house and me having a lot of things to do because I was building tree houses, tree forts, tons of crazy stuff. And uh, chores were not at the top of my list. So I was always trying to get my chores done as quickly as humanly possible. So I could go back to my tree house and keep building my little fortress. And I remember actually, uh, we had vacuums when I was growing up that were actually plugged in. And as you would leave one room, the cord at one point would be too short. And I would actually yank the cord out of the wall by doing a sort of a whiplash. And then it would come out of the wall. And I would literally see sparks coming out of that. And you know, as a kid, you're like, that's oh, just, that's what happens. But when you're actually disconnecting uh, certain things, it's very possible, especially if it's not done quickly, that you might actually have a voltage spike. So you can have two things, you know, voltage is a point, right? It's, it doesn't matter if it could be 120, it could be 220, it could be 12 volts, it could be DC, it could be AC, it doesn't matter. And the challenge is, is when you disconnect something under a load, right? I, there's current running through it. As you're disconnecting that, it's not happens. There's no such thing as an instant. An instant is still a, an amount of time. Nothing happens like that. Nothing. You can measure in milliseconds. It doesn't matter. It takes time to do anything. So what happens is when you disconnect any sort of appliance on your boat, even a vacuum cleaner when I was a kid, you're actually causing scorching on the contacts. And you would actually see the plug on the vacuum would actually start getting tarnished. And that voltage spike can actually cause also really, really high amperages. So for solar panels, what the manufacturers want is, remember the solar panels are actually creating energy, current. It doesn't matter if it's a pull or it's a push, right? It's still current. And what they're trying to do is they want to make sure that when you disconnect your solar panels, from your batteries, you do so while the panels are not actually producing any current. So what I do on my own boat, I actually literally put blankets on top of the panels. Or I'll do it at nighttime, right? Or before the sun comes up. But if it's sunny outside and you want to be safe, you don't want to disconnect anything under load, what you're going to do is you're going to put a blanket. It would be the similar thing that we end up doing for shore power connections. No one should disconnect shore power, right? Literally at an outlet by just simply disconnecting the boat from shore power without going in the boat and actually turning all the breakers off, turning the actually AC main breaker off, and then you can disconnect something. So you want no current to be on the line when you're disconnecting it. And a voltage spike can actually damage equipment. It does happen. Now it's happening less and less because a lot of the electrical appliances that we have on our boats have wider ranges where they can tolerate a certain voltage. A lot of appliances now will work from, let's say, 10 volts to 26 volts or 28 or 32. They're, they're saying it's going to work at 12 volts, it's going to work at 24 volts. But some other appliances want a very, very narrow range. They're saying it can only work from 11 to 14.8. And if the voltage goes higher than that, the appliance, the device can get damaged. So you want absolutely as a boarder to avoid ever, ever, ever disconnecting or connecting anything under load, right? Things should be off when you're connecting them and should be even when you're connecting them on or off. Same thing, you don't wanna have your vacuum cleaner turned on when you're actually plugging in the wall so that it just turns on as soon as you plug in the wall. You plug it in and then you turn your vacuum cleaner on. So you do, you, you worry about voltage spikes because we worry about keeping our electrical appliances on our boat to work and to be safe. And that's why we do the same thing for solar. So great question and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also support to keep this 
YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.